Greetings people. <laughs> Rock and go down there. Z speed. Mm. Yeah man, we ride on whistle today, you know. You know, we are driver our whistle today. You see me? Mm. Well, today now we are gonna talk about nice piece of topic, yeah. You know, good topic, bad topic, depends on how you look at it. Half full or half empty. You know a bars beats already and we deal with pure bars. And you know more than one type of bars we have in this thing yeah? We have the bar where you go, go drink and chat people business and get drunk You yeah, see me? You have the musical bars And you also have the bars where you sit In terms of height or level You yeah, see me? Alright So choose which one of them we are thinking you know? We are trying to set the bar high you now yeah man uh, So Here we go now The new thing I know The um, minister, minister of Finance or Finance Minister Jamaica Dr. Nigel Clark mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm around the spotlight you know Because you know every now and then I want to push in the spotlight and take it over For a minute Well, this is going to take you over for about an hour now <clears throat> See, Dr. Nigel Clark, Minister of Finance in my head today, the IMF, International Monetary Fund. Yeah, I'm going to take over the a deputy managing director. Can't remember, please don't quote me, but he might hold a very high, high, high position in there. So, you know, I want to know what is, what is my thought or what are my thoughts on it. And also, what are your thoughts as well? <laughs> you see me, what that do for the country? What that do for the man? You understand me? Alright, let me just give a little thing in there now. Alright, Nigel Clark, very, very brilliant guy, well learned, scholar of Jamaica, and anybody who will a finance minister position, anybody who will a finance minister position, you have to have good educational background, especially in the field of finance. It's not like Minister of Sports and Minister of Transport, you know, Minister of National Security, where you can just hold a post there and just get some advisors to tell you what's going on and you do your thing. Minister of Finance is a serious position. And one of the most serious positions you have in any country. The Minister of Finance and the Minister of Security. Some countries call it different, defense, or some call it national. Yeah, but same thing. We deal, we deal with the, the police and the prison officers and the, and the, and the, and the army. Mm. So, Nigel Clark, no duns to the business. So, heading over to IMF, and you know, IMF is is the where I call him now, the body that deals with lending money to countries. They have much more. Um, functions but that is in order to tell a person why IMF is that are one of the things that you can do and it connect because them set like regulations so if they lend some money to the country to any country they always in other sense tell the country how to regulate their economies so that they can they can pay back the money to the country to, to, to IMF without put themselves in further debt or, or so forth which sometimes that really and truly no work I just pump paper so Jamaica was one of the, the barriers to the IMF and historically we know that anytime a country go and borrow some money from IMF they always end up worse than they're supposed to be you know always 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 so he said in there and then we are say well you know, some people are saying turn him back on Jamaica. Some people say I sell out. Some people say a good move. Yeah, so boy, that move good enough. Because I'll wall heap of things. So let me list them down now. One of them, it make room for another bright person to come in the post and wall it. Zane? Yeah. That are one of them. He left space for somebody to come wall and take over. Right? So from the Caribbean, we have to say Jamaica, Jamaica and the Caribbean. 
to hold a post like that and that's a very very high and very influential position to have in the world all right now by him going there my my thing would be that you know him have him, he has still have his ties to jamaica because the honorable the most honorable um and Joe Oldness is his prime minister now so we'll leave now so him have him him still have him can call upon now by him going to the IMF now him can be in a position for he give some inside knowledge that is how me look at it some inside knowledge to the people them in our party or people in Jamaica how the, how the IMF run him have inside knowledge in that so it's not like somebody tell him I'm read about it. Him have the inside knowledge of how them operate and how them go about them things. So him can share that knowledge. I'm should be able to. I hope him do it. Trust me, I hope you do it. Able to share him knowledge with here. I mean, in Jamaica and even the Caribbean as well. You know, if you he, he angle them business and don't get not caught up in this thing and put them 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 them, them, them financial state in a bad situation. You understand? Because you know, you have other persons in IMF. You know, the, la the last person I remember, and I can call her off, it, is um, Christine Lagarde. Uh, she, yeah, she left. The guy who took over from, the, I mean, the head. I don't even remember his name. But, yeah, so it's a good look that, for, to me, it's a good look for, 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 for Nigel, Dr. Nigel. It's a good look that for Jamaica. It's a good look for the Caribbean. You know, and I just, as I say, I hope him go there and. You know, give Jamaica some insight in our go on. Don't just go there and say, yes, boy, I made this. And then you left. And don't share the knowledge and share the wealth. And, and Jamaica in the same position as it was before. Because as I said, IMF is a very, very influential position. A very influential institution or organization in the world. They run world economy, per se. See? So, but I want to know nothing still, people. Big old man thing. I want to know nothing. Dr. Nigel. You know, sell out our help out. <laughs> Which one of them? <laughs> Nigel. Me, Dr. Nigel, big up yourself. Big up yourself. You know, uh, personally, me, I say, sky is a sky a limit. Well, people stop looking past sky nowadays. You know? They might go further than the sky. <laughs> they might go further. So, big up yourself, Dr. Nigel, and your, and your appointment as one of the, the top men in, in the IMF, International Monetary Fund. And I do hope you use your knowledge and influence to make it better and by extension make Jamaica better by sharing your knowledge. So people let me know nothing still. And you know as usual, Sadio quick be on the drive and whistle and we say, how tired. Peace.